Good morning, I'm meteorologist Lisa Green here with an update on our winter storm potential, how much snow we'll see and the timing of this system. Models are indicating a little bit of a shift in the track of this storm, which will have an impact on some places as far as snow totals are concerned. So we're going to get right to that model here. Uh, for this afternoon, we'll start to see a few snowflakes, a couple of sprinkles moving in, but generally speaking, the bulk of the system not starting up for us in the Southern Valley until later tonight. So looking at seven o'clock on this particular forecast, model starting to see those snow showers uh, fall transitioning from some rain to some snow wind out of the north and strong uh, gusting into the 20s and some 30s at times so that will have uh, an impact on travel where the snow is falling visibility will be down temperatures still on their way down toward the freezing mark and below at that point later tonight 11 o'clock some snow stretching as far north as Fargo Moorhead and back over toward Bemidji and Oaks uh, the heaviest snow likely going to be falling in places like uh, the Wapaton Breckenridge area, Fergus Falls, and back to Wadena at that point. Detroit Lakes, too, you may be seeing that snow. Looking ahead toward uh, the overnight hours, we're going to be seeing some of that snowfall still impacting Fargo, but notice how we're on the edge of this storm system here throughout the forecast. Much of this now down a little bit farther south from us. Uh, in the Fargo-Moorhead area. So it's south of there where the focus for the heavier snow will be. Maybe a couple of bands of some heavier stuff showing up in purple there. By 5.30 in the morning, you can see we're right on the edge again in Fargo-Moorhead, but Detroit Lakes, Wadena, Fergus Falls, again back down towards Sisseton, will be picking up the snow at that point in time early tomorrow morning, impacting your morning commute. North of there, Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, you're looking nice and quiet, though the wind will be strong and you'll still be on the cool side there too. Wind still gusting into the 30s to near 40 miles per hour in some spots. This continues into the uh, later morning hours, a couple of pockets of heavier bands again in Lakes Country, Fargo-Moorhead right on the edge of this system. Of course, this is one model run. We always remind you that uh, there are other mo forecast models out there, some of us keeping us a little farther into the snow uh, band, others maybe kind of outside of it. So our forecast could range quite a bit in the Fargo-Moorhead area. South of here, more likely to see those uh, several inches of snow possible. By noon, most of this starting to clear out. Wadena could still be getting those snow showers, rather. And you can see the bulk of the heavy snow just a little farther east in those purples and pinks there where the heavier snowfall rates will be going and likely the heftiest snow totals as well with those strong winds continuing even after the snow passes by. Three o'clock Friday uh, will generally be cleared out as far as the snowfall is concerned. So a look at our headlines uh, as of this recording. Uh, we're looking at some winter storm watches and a blizzard watch in effect for the valley still. Uh, holding off on upgrading or changing it to any warnings or uh, any advisories at this point uh, because of the uncertainty of this storm system just how much snow it's going to drop on the valley because it is shifting to the south and east so the National Weather Service will be updating that throughout the day blizzard warning in effect starting at midnight tonight for Traverse County and into northeastern South Dakota. Winter storm warnings flanking that where we're expecting heavy snow, but maybe the wind won't be as strong. So if you're planning on traveling down uh, tomorrow for uh, to get ready for the Bison game, watch out. There's going to be some tough travel along I-29. And then I-94 are going to be an issue tomorrow as well with the heavy snow and wind going on in that direction too. So make sure you check ahead. Snowfall potential, big drop off. We're going to see places that are getting into that higher range, that six plus inch range in some parts of the valley, most likely in an extreme southeastern part of our viewing area in Lakes Country, and then dropping off from there. Fargo right now got us in that one to three inch range. Could be less than that, could be more than that. Since we're right on the edge, it's kind of hard to uh, uh, really nail down a total there. but. Generally speaking, we do have a shot at seeing a couple of inches of snow and then picking up down to the south and east from there. So uh, we're looking at some uh, decent totals possible in some places. Once again, the one thing all of us will be impacted by is that wind. And in addition to that, the colder air that will be moving in behind the system. Stay tuned with Valley News Live. We'll continue to bring you updates right here on valleynewslive.com. And also uh, on television, we'll be keeping you updated throughout this storm system.